back. Well, families have to take on extra financial responsibilities when a loved one is convicted of a crime and sent to prison. And when that person's released, it can be a challenge finding a job to help with expenses. Three people shared with Reggie Marion the difficulties of trying to rebuild their lives. Many companies are hiring right now, and some managers might say they're having a hard time finding workers. But there are many people like Gail, Juan, and Demetrisy who say they are willing to work, but companies may not give them a second chance. It's been a struggle, and I've been trying to not be so stressed out that I can't function. It gets to be a little stressful sometimes. But I just need a chance. Three different voices all sharing the same experiences. Gail, Juan, and Demetrisy each served decades in prison for murder. They've been out for six months or less and struggling with employment. To survive with nothing after 33 years of incarceration and to find a job that would uh, hire an older woman that's been in prison for 33 plus years and is almost 71 years old has been very difficult. I put out, uh, I guess, maybe over 100 resumes and the few responses I kept on getting back, like, in a very polite way, um, you really don't fit the profile. Demetri C. and Gail have college degrees in graphic design and Christian ministry. They have years of work experience and still looking for a job. My work ethic speaks for itself. Um, before you judge me based on what papers say, give me a chance. Give these folks an opportunity because they're going to show up and show out. The Louisiana Parole Project in Baton Rouge is trying to erase the stigma of incarceration creating the new Employment Enhancement Program, bridging the gap between companies and those who will soon be released from prison. The two things that, are, that, are, that make a person succeed, help a person succeed, one is a support system, two is economic stability. If you, have, if you don't have either or, then it, it poses a big problem.